Brissett just stays in the gun on this first down and 10. And intercepted Eric Harris. Going to be a touchdown. What a game at safety. When Eric was here, I was head football coach. I was head football coach from 2005 to 2011. But he had a niche. He was on the field on offense and defense all the time and special teams. My junior year was our best year, and uh, we had the best record in the school history that year. We were 11 and 2. Eric Harris, how big of a player is he right now? He'll find the football no matter where it is. When the game's online, you want him to have football. He was a senior, and I was a junior, and we met in high school. It just was kind of instantaneous. We were young at the time, and then, you know, we got into a bit, pretty serious car accident. I remember waking up in the hospital, seeing Eric completely terrified. I suffered a frontal lobe brain injury. You know, we dealt with a lot of just emotions and her dealing with her head trauma, and it really brought us close, you know, as far as just being there for each other, you know, but she was always supportive of me. Eric has grown up in a single family household and has one older sister and four younger brothers who want to be just like their big brother. Although without his dad in his life, I believe that Eric has always wanted his dad in his life. He has always looked for that approval and he found that in his sports. We wrote that letter to California University of PA and I wrote it out of like sheer desperation. He was getting letters from D1 schools for track, for football, and it was like a an exciting time, but then all of a sudden it just seemed like everything started to kind of fade away. As a mom, it was killing me to see my son's dreams of playing football coming to an end. You know, I could definitely tell that letter came from her heart and that she was like, you know, she really believed in me. Intercepted by one hand, what a play, Eric Harris, woo! With the whole football thing when I left, nothing with the NFL happened for me. So I went back home and worked at the potato chip factory, us potato chips. I showed up to orientation and everybody got their own little piece of paper, or whatever. Mine said um, corn mixer. And I'm like, what's a corn mixer? <laughs> when you play a sport, you get a lot of praise for your highlights and stuff like that. You kind of come back to reality a little bit and you kind of see, you know, what life can be if you don't make the most of your opportunities. I was old enough to understand, but I didn't really realize, you know, that he was working at a factory now and that his dreams could potentially come to an end. I never really had any concerns, really. I was just like, he's been playing football my whole life. There's no way he's done now. Like, he's just going to keep going. I guess the one thing that Eric's taught me, like, if you want something bad enough, you got to keep going. Still had the mindset, you know, I'm only one year removed from football, so I went back to school, kept working out. Got a job at UPS, working part-time supervisor at night shift, and um, my goal was just, you know, give this thing one more run. I paid $80, I drove up to Buffalo, New York, and I worked out for the CFL and the Hamilton Tiger Cats, and I was with the Tiger Cats in 13 to 15, and um, the Saints, they brought me down on February 1st, and then they signed me, I worked out February 2nd, and signed February 2nd. Eric Harris! The first practice back from a bye week. I had tore my left ACL on both my meniscus. It was definitely devastating, but at the same time, it was another opportunity for me to grow as an individual. Eric Harris, Oakland Raiders, CFL cast-off, and former potato chip factory worker. To walk out into the NFL field, it's like, chills throughout my body. I really love that he found a home. You know, the Raiders love him. Receiver open, it's intercepted by Eric Harris. Not everybody gets to live out their dream, but, you know, their daddy did, and he did it with grace. Sometimes we're like, wow, you really are in the NFL. It's pretty surreal. 